today we got a cool episode for you guys. We're gonna be checking out this Brooklyn style and Detroit style pizza shop. And it's the first ever in Hawaii. Hey, we are gonna eat some awesome, awesome pizza for you guys. Let's excited. It's like the northern walls in Game of Thrones, but of cheese. Popo is on the way. Anyway. And we're gonna get in trouble now. Guys, we weren't joking. That cop is like still there. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a cool episode for you guys. We're gonna be checking out this Brooklyn style and Detroit style pizza shop. And it's the first ever in Hawaii and we haven't tried that style of pizza yet. So we're gonna try it and take you guys along with us. So let's go. Stick around. So guys, we're at Pizza Mamo and this is located in the downtown Chinatown area. And if you've ever been to Chinatown, you'll know that it's very like hustle and bustle. There's a lot of like businesses around here. Also, there's a really huge homeless population. This is a Chinatown. This is Hoi's Chinatown. What? Very appetizing guys. <laughs> huge homeless population here. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys the truth. Yeah, a lot of buses. Yeah, sorry, the bus is really loud, but yeah. Should we start it all over again? Hey guys, so we are at Pizza Mamo today and we're super excited to take you guys along. This area is the Chinatown downtown area of Honolulu. We actually only have one Chinatown and it's right here, so welcome to Chinatown. There's a lot of like up and coming trendy restaurants and bars. So we're actually on Hotel Street, which is a little bit on the outskirts of Chinatown. It's, infamous Hotel Street. Yeah, it's pretty infamous, known for a lot of uh, activities, if you know what I mean. Lately, it's becoming more trendy, more hipster, a lot of new restaurants, local dive bars, a lot of eateries. behind the scenes, setting up shop. So guys, we just got to the area that we're gonna enjoy our dinner today. Lovely view, as you guys can see. So even with this mask mandate, it's not gonna stop us from reviewing for you guys. Just gotta eat in the car. Remember, prioritize the sanitize. The mask mandate is still going strong. Still gotta eat it in the car. Oddly though, there are a lot of people who are like eating outside, but we really just don't wanna like go to jail or have to pay a citation or have to go to court. So we're being safe and we're eating in the car with you guys again. 
Nobody and, has yeah. time for court in jail. Or $1,500 fine. So we'd rather just, you know. $1,500? Yeah. But if you do want more information, definitely check out Photo Luke Hawaii. And he actually gave us a really cool shout out. And a bunch of his followers actually followed suit and came and subscribed to us. So we're grateful, forever, eternally grateful. So much gratitude for Photo Luke Hawaii. And we love what you're doing out there. Shout out to Luke and all his loyal subscribers. And hopefully you guys are also our fans or will be fans. Enjoy the content, enjoy the show. Yeah, and if you guys are new here, Photo Luke, he did explain our channel a little bit. I'm Amanda and this is Felix. And we do videos about Hawaii, food, some adventures, mostly food, cause you know, we love food. And yeah, so thank you so much for subscribing to us and welcome to our channel. We are gonna eat some awesome, awesome pizza for you guys. Let's so excited. get into it cause we cannot wait any longer. The car literally smells like cheese and if you guys are subscribers or longtime subscribers or binge watched all our videos shout out to y'all well, you know that we love cheese so we're about to demolish these pizzas right now and not just any cheese these are wisconsin brick cheese so little fun fact this location is called pizza mamo they literally just opened a week today they make exactly a week you know we're happy to review them and let you guys know how it is we tried to kind of explain the area we were in earlier hotel street but it was a little too hustling and bustling too loud basically it's just a up and coming trendy area a lot of new eateries uh, some dive bars a lot of buses as you can tell or from earlier located in chinatown the infamous chinatown as of now the menu is online and they only do takeout so order online or call in your orders just plan ahead what you want and that's why we decided to eat in the car because it's takeout only shall we let's get into it so the first thing i wanted to try because it's not something we're very known for here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. well, actually, we're not even that known for pizzas, but yeah. anywho. <laughs> so this place is known for Detroit style and Brooklyn pies. If you guys don't know, Detroit style pizza is a pan pizza used with Wisconsin cheese, brick cheese. And you'll know right away it's Wisconsin cheese because the smell, the permeating smell of the cheese, it's, it's very iconic. But anyway, it smells kind of sharp and very pungent. Ooh, Look at that. Wow, that looks awesome. You know it's pretty authentic when you get that raised cheese crust. That's caramelized cheese, guys, Ooh. all along the edges there. And the sauce always goes on last. It's not dough sauce cheese. It's dough, cheese, toppings, and then sauce. We, uh, you know, like to stick to the tried and true, so we got original cheese for the Detroit. I'm excited to try this, guys. And the best thing about these pies is you always get a corner piece because it's, you know, cut in fours. Corners! Mm. Sorry, that was my excited voice. Oh, got kind of high there. Can you smell that? Oh, she took, she took a bite already. She even cheers me. All right, guys. Mmm. Mmm. That bread is very like light and doughy and the cheese flavor is so strong along with those herbs and that pizza sauce on there. Oh, man. I love how it's so crispy. It's like legit. Man, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Woo, is that good? Wow. It's bomb, guys. Mm. First thing that hits you, the cheese. Very prominent cheese flavor. It's amazing. Wisconsin. Little fun fact before I describe into detail about this damn pizza. Wisconsin is very stringent on their cheeses and butter. So they ain't messing around, guys. When it's Wisconsin dairy product, you know it's creme de la creme. Basically, it's the best. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these, this is so good. So my suggestion, if you guys are trying this for the first time, take the middle bite where you get a little bit of the sauce. You know, they call it racing stripes because they put the sauce like in a stripe. That's very traditional Detroit too. And man, the oregano they put on it, it, it ain't fake guys, it's for real. Look at this, it's real, it's real herbs. Not from some shaker. Guys, And that devoured. cheesy crust. I spent too much time talking. The outside mm. crispiness is so good, that cr crumb, the the. Lost for words. I truly am. The car caramelized? Is it caramelized? I don't know, but that ant and piece. Caramelized. That cheese, so good. If you love cheese. The oh. cheeses that spill over and hits the edge of the pan just crisp up. That burnt cheese taste. It's not even burnt. It's like. It's caramelized. caramelized. It's awesome, guys. It's like a cheese skirt on top of your pizza. Mm hmm. 
Oh, wow. It's like the northern walls in Game of Thrones, but of cheese. Is it northern walls? What is it called? The it's like, wall. Yeah, it's the north, you know, the wall of cheese. Mm. Except it's not ice. Guys, that's that's bomb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will say, because of the cheese content, it is a bit greasy. If you don't like cheese and greasy cheese, sorry, you gotta just click out this video because that's all it's gonna be. The cheese has like a, a delicate yet salty flavor and the pizza sauce is very like mildly sweet but very tomatoey and strong and it just all balances out and that bread it's like sturdy yet hearty but fluffy and light at the same time it's everything you want in a pizza if you it like looks pan, heavy but it's light yeah if you like pan pizza this is the way to go just think of the Pizza Hut pan, but elevated to like a Michelin star level. Mm -hmm. I guess you could call this the five finger pizza because... <laughs> you lick all that goodness off the fingers. I like that the sauce isn't too heavy too. They give you just enough, just that landing strip of sauce. Can't wait to see what the Brooklyn tastes like. We've never been to New York, so it's kind of hard for us to compare, but we like pizza. We've eaten a lot of pizzas here, so. Oh yeah, we should probably mention that. We have not really traveled to New York or Detroit, but because we're a lover of pizza, we shouldn't try any kind of pizza, because we love pizza. Honestly, Hawaii does not have a lot of food, like, versatility or like food variety. So the fact that we are able to try- what did I say? Versatility. You know what I mean. Like versatility, fatality. versatility, versatility. Anyway, like, yeah, Hawaii doesn't really have much versatility. <sighs> did I say it wrong again? Versatility on food, especially like regional types of food. So the fact that we're able to try it and the fact that we're able to take it home and eat it with you guys is gold. Gold, gold, gold. I love it. Super happy we're able to try it and I really liked it. She just likes gold in general. Ooh, this is a big box, guys, so. This is huge. Like, I can't Here. even show it to you guys. Here, close it, close it back up. Wait, hold on. It's kind of hard to do this in the car, guys, but here we go. Just for you guys, our attempt at opening a large pizza box. Okay, hope you guys are ready. One, two, three. Oh. I'm like not even in the frame. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, this thing is huge, but we gotta take a bite. You know, we thought about eating at this place, but we never really planned it through how we're gonna attack this. All right, guys, I gotta do a lean back action just to fit. Like we mentioned earlier, it's not like we've been to New York or anything. We have tried pizzas like in some of the other states. But yeah, typically what we like is thin center of the pizza and a little thicker crust to give it that crunch and chewiness, but not too thick where it's like hand tossed. And that's pretty much what New York style or Brooklyn style is. And it has to be cut wide enough so that you can fold it like that. And you want little to zero flop. You want it to kind of hold on its own. Mm. And yet again, she's already eating. So I'm gonna play catch up today, guys. Okay. Mm. You guys, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they use what they call Ezo pepperoni. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Damn Lexus again! <laughs> <laughs> it's my car and I forget that thing cocks back. Okay, sorry. Mm. The pepperoni is the star here. You can really uh -oh. taste the pepperoni. The star for me is the bread on this one. Really? I really like the bread. This is like the perfect amount of like sturdy pizza bread, pizza dough with a nice like charo, charred, nice charred crust that's also like light and fluffy on the inside but crispy and like really flavorful on the outside. Mm. You want to look for those char bubbles on your pizza crust guys, that's authenticity. What they do put on here that I'm not a big fan of is the, what's that, what do you call that? The corn, uh, corn meal. You guys know what I'm talking about? The yellow corn, corn meal bottom. Not really a big fan of that. But right amount of sauce. The sauce is nice and tangy. So previously, this place was called Brick Fire Tavern. No. Yeah, Brick Fire Tavern Pizza. And they we're were more like um, Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Yeah. But I, I really like this one a lot better. It was a lot better. Definite kudos to changing. They even took up the Neapolitan style Brick Fire oven. Put a different type of oven, like a higher heating oven. There I go to pizza number two. 
Do I do it? Mm-hmm. I'm freaking hungry, guys. Mm. It's so good. Mm. And they even like put like cheese, extra cheese on top. Can you guys see that? Bang. Like shavings of that Wisconsin brick cheese. You know, the pizza is good, guys. When Amanda's beating me at eating. I'm on slice number two, guys. Catch up. I like that the sauce is slightly sweet and it balances out that really salty pepperoni. And the sweetness, too, it's kind of like sweet but a little bit tart. Honestly, it's really good. It's totally balanced. I kind of want, oh! <laughs> that pepperoni's a little spicy too. Yeah. Oh! Oh my God, I almost dropped the whole pizza. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie guys, that Detroit style is my favorite of the two. As of now guys, I'm not sure if they're gonna stick to their current menu, but the Detroit style, you can only get plain cheese or pepperoni. The Brooklyn one, I believe you can get mushroom, sausage, pepperoni, your standard cheese. And potato. They had this thing called a potato. It's like thin slices of potato. That sounds kind of interesting. We almost ordered that, but you want to stick with the originals first. And yep, here I am. Back to my love. Like I said, guys, you see that racing stripe? That little um, line of tomato sauce right there? Yeah, we're going to just take a bite right in the middle. Mmm. Man. Mmm. It's like... I'm eating a bomb garlic bread with extra cheese. Mm. You know they use quality ingredients too. I mean, you can just taste it. If you guys like pizza, or if you have a dedicated pizza night of the week, do yourself a favor. Go down to Pizza Mamo. Get yourself a Detroit pan style pizza or Brooklyn pie. Or get one of each. Try it out. See which one you like more. Like you get the crunch of the undercarriage or the cheese corner and the fluffiness. It's, 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 it's so good. Mm. You still like the Brooklyn one more? Going back and forth, the Detroit one is a little bit sweeter. I think it's because it doesn't have the pepperonis that make it like salty and spicy, which is like a very classic kind of move, you know? It's a lot more fluffier and not as like hard, I guess. Whoo, man, that was a lot of Wisconsin brick. That was a lot of Ezo pepperoni. It's a lot of pan pizza. Guys, that was awesome, super delicious, and I'm really, 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 really full and super happy right now from all that cheese. I'm like on a cheese high, guys. Anything with cheese on it, like I can just go ham. Ham, go ham on the cheese. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I did have coffee again. Remind me guys not to give her coffee. <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming along with us on today's adventure and thank you so much for joining us and watching us eat and eating with us. And again, we want to give a huge shout out and a big mahalo to Photo Luke Hawaii for introducing us to all of you guys who came from his channel and we want to welcome you guys. Welcome to our community, our family. And thank you guys so much for coming and we'll see you soon. Popo is on the way. Anyway. And we're gonna get in trouble now. <laughs> oh, actually, the cop just turned around. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, Luke, for the support. Luke's fans. Again, we ain't trying to get a thousand dollar fine over <laughs> here. So you know, I gotta put the mask back on. Anyway. <laughs> Until the next one. We ain't joking, guys. He's literally leaving right there. He literally just came here, pulled up right next to us, and made a U-turn when he saw the mask come back on. Guys, we weren't joking. That cop is like still there. Okay guys, thanks, bye.